going on to you aries we got a lot to talk about you aries have the six of swords six of swords right uh three of swords ace of cups a lot of you gem a lot of you not gemini's a lot of you aries have learned to watch out for the subtleties that people are going what they're going to be as they're in a relationship right kind of learned you've learned to watch out for the red flags very easily very fast while you're in a relationship while you're trying to get to know them okay not necessarily a full-blown relationship but something is starting to actually bud um the ace of cups however is about and when you find out that you don't necessarily really like the red flags that a person is showing you you will leave problem though is the five of cups and the three of cups you still have a lot of regret you're still very much so thinking about how you could how you were so stupid to think that this person cared about you see i don't suggest you necessarily think like that because then you start to get down on yourself and start to and the way that your mind reads it is you feel you feel sorry about thinking that people can like you and that's not true that's not i don't suggest that's how it is that you should think because the five of cups represents you had to learn to let this part of you go this is what you have to learn to let go of you have to learn to let go to see that other people are out here tweaking and they are dysfunctional and that they are a dub they are the ones that's that so you cannot allow yourself to think along those lines because then you begin to self-doubt and you don't want to do that that's not the best thing for you to do because as you're trying to get to know somebody else you will not you will sabotage the the would-be relationship because you're trying to get to know you're trying to get to know them, right trying to get to know them and you won't even give them a try because you think that they're gonna have your worst interest in mind that's not even the case and the three of cups now is about the casual interactions right or the could have been casual interactions you this is just a delusion this is just how you falsely perceive you think that this person puts you in a situation or or you're asking yourself what was all of this for was this just a situation where you were a, a person's own personal you know um toy <laughs> and the answer to that is that's again that's a delusion so the 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 magician represents you have to learn to move forward even even through past that thought because you're having a little bit of trouble right around now breaking through that i'm seeing it with these cards right some of you may have gone through this already the ten of cups yeah you have to learn to let go of this idea and understand that those people did like you problem is they wanted they they are dysfunctional so you have to understand that a dysfunctional individual is going to do what a dysfunctional individual is going to do you cannot get so bent out of shape to think that a dysfunctional individual is going to somehow clean up their act they have to already want that inside internally it has to be something special inside they have to want to do better for themselves first and foremost and that is an expression of integrity and decency wanting to do better is evidence of integrity and evidence of decency that's just that's just the natural thing but if they do not want if they did not want to do better then this is something where you have to take into consideration you can't get mad about that so the wheel of fortune now is about how um you aries have to also understand Okay, that you have to work on your mental. You have to work on your own self evaluation. Okay, and I and I get it. Trust me, I get it, because exoterically, Aries is ruled by Mars. Esoterically, Aries is ruled by Mercury. I get it. Trust me, me being a Virgo ruled by uh, Mercury exoterically, I get it. But 
Your mind is playing games with you right now. And you have to figure a, 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 a way to get out of that fear, uncertainty, and doubt to understand that people do love you. The person that you were trying to get to know is an idiot. And they wasted your time, yes, but it doesn't mean that your time is finished. You're still in a particular situation where you could live your life, meet someone new. Use this opportunity to find somebody. Don't be so you know, hung up on woe is you and why did this type of stuff happen? The night, okay, the night of pentacles is about you could be doing this. You could be offering this pentacle to somebody else. So you, you let yourself know where you want to be. You want to be like this or you want to be like this? This is all about thinking about what you could have, should have did and or you could be like this, trying to get to know someone else. But what you do have to do if you're going to move on is you have to learn to understand what was it about you that drew, to, drew you to them in the first place. Okay? I will admit myself, what drew me to those people in the first place was because I liked them. I did not know that they were this dysfunctional, but I liked them. But I did not know they were this dysfunctional. I didn't know the red flags that they would have shown me. You understand what I'm saying? So, let's clarify. Let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the magician. The, you have the Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, uh, Six of Wands, King of Cups. To clarify the magician. Look. The Ace of Swords, you really need to figure... You really need to figure a way out for you to you don't really need to be around anybody right now i'm i'm just going to just say you really don't need to be around anybody you need to have time for yourself where you you get away from people and 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 relax and do whatever it is that you want and deal with the baggage that you've had to to deal with and understand why just basically learn how to forgive yourself you're you're you aries are upset at yourselves a little bit too much and that's one thing that i'm starting to realize like saturn and 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 and, and mercury are all about heart being hard on ourselves right so since you aries are esoterically ruled by mercury right y'all are hard on yourselves y'all want to be perfect y'all thought you know, y'all are y'all are upset at the fact that y'all have to really be uh, in a situation where why didn't you figure out that that people don't like you? Listen, no one knows everything, right? And that's just how it is. Because you want to leave the door, you want to be able to allow someone who really is for you to come in, but you don't obviously you obviously don't want to be played, right? Now, we have to give and take in order for that to actually happen. It's not always about you're going to, you're a hundred, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not always going to be about everyone that comes to you is dysfunctional. That's not, that's not it. You know, or, or some, or people who come to you mean you no good. That's not really it. There are some people that I have dated that me and this, me and these people have actually stopped talking to each other amicably. We went our separate ways peacefully. They were people that were a little bit older than me. And they found somebody that's their age. So it's okay. Right? Me being 17 year old, 17 years old, right? Dating a, 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 a 25 year old. Oh, I was about to. Oof. 25. Not, not that number. <laughs> no. 25 year old they didn't want to hang around me because i was too young for them so they ended up 
dating with a 25 year old so the thing is that not every time it's going to be people are out to get you right so the three of pentacles and the six of wands represents guess what you do you just repair your mind put yourself back together and you move forward the king of cups you have to learn that people do not dislike you again these are these are delusions you are telling yourself so that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video um, smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.